If you're here, you're looking to add a Rhodesian Ridgeback to your family. I'm glad you found this video because unfortunately, Googling the question which brought you here can often lead people astray. There are tons of pitfalls when it comes to finding an ethical breeder. And that starts with most people not knowing where to look and not knowing what to look for. So before you start your journey, consider this a map to help you find your way. Let's look again at the question which brought you here. The results look very official. And if you don't know any better, you'd have no idea how unhelpful and misleading they are. And following these links could very well end up with you getting your Ridgeback from a backyard breeder who doesn't rigorously health test their dogs and conform to the shared code of ethics which helps the breed thrive. Even if you scroll down, none of these search results will point you to the right place. As the old saying goes, if you want to bury a body, hide it on the second page of Google because no one ever looks at those results. But I'm imploring you to take that unprecedented step because the place you want to start your search is at ruckus.org. I'll even cut out the middleman and link the site for you below. This is the official website of the National Ridgeback Club. And whether you're looking for a puppy or a rescue, it's the best place to start. In exchange for you listening to me why it's so important you find a breeder from the National Club, I'm gonna bombard you with as many cute Ridgeback puppy clips as I have. Hopefully by the time the video's through, you'll have a smile from the warm puppy glow and you'll be better prepared to find a Ridgeback of your own. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking otherwise, but what you're looking at is the culmination of a very orderly process. The unmitigated joy and anarchy of this litter is a result of a meticulous and years long journey by the breeder. Mary of Glass Creek Kennels in this case. And what this video offers is a peek into that process and why it matters for you, your puppy, and the breed. To start, a quick reminder that every puppy, scientifically speaking, is the best. The goal here isn't to endorse or denigrate one particular dog or line or kennel. What I want to encourage you to do is support the process which led you to the breed in the first place. A process of careful, considered, diligent, and loving stewardship. That ethos is best summed up in the National Club's detailed code of ethics, which I'll also link to below. If you read that and think, this seems like an insane amount of time, effort, and money to do properly, you're on the right track. The process for just a single litter is a years long one, requiring substantial commitment and sacrifice. There's the confirmation side of the equation. There's a rigorous health screenings and genealogy. And the care of both the dam and the litter is a full-time job in itself. A fun one, but an absolutely exhausting one. Ethical breeding is a passion project in which the goal is not making money, it's more losing money as slowly as possible. What unethical breeders do is they cut out all the work. They don't do any health screening. They don't put any thought into their pairings. They don't do anything to ensure the health and longevity of the individual dog or of the breed. Their goal is simply to get dogs bred and sold. There's no accounting for what health issues their dog may have or may be perpetuating, or really any consideration for how they're contributing to dog overpopulation by not caring if buyers breed their pups or give them to the pound. Now, at a glance, this isn't something that's easy to distinguish for your average person. You see happy puppies playing over here and you see happy puppies playing over there. In a lot of cases, it looks the same but the details really do matter, even when you can't immediately see the results. And because ethical breeders are so focused on the details and doing the things the right way, they often end up spending less time on all the things we're trained to think matter. Things like slick websites, good Google rankings, and basically all things marketing advertising. The reason they can do that is because ethical breeders almost always have more interested homes than they have puppies. That's why they have wait lists and applications and other hurdles which take a good amount of time to get over. 
It can feel like things move slowly with an ethical breeder, but that's because they do, and that's because it's by design. It's good for everyone. If you find yourself anywhere you can buy a Ridgeback with a few clicks, run the other direction. If you find yourself talking to someone who has multiple litters simultaneously at multiple times a year, run. Someone who isn't willing and eager to share health screening results with you, you got it, run. If this is your first time looking into the breed and you're feeling overwhelmed by all of this, don't worry, I got you. And so does a large community of people eager to help you find the right dog for your family. In the video description below, I'll link my getting started blog post that goes into much more details about each of these points and shows you how to approach your search in order to avoid common pitfalls. I encourage you to approach the journey as exactly that. One where you focus on the process and the education and the experience rather than a quick answer. In the end, you will be so happy you put in the effort to find an outstanding breeder. It makes a world of difference in both the short and long-term outlook for your Ridgeback experience. There is so much to learn, but I've got about a decade's worth of videos here you can check out along the way. Also, there's a ton more content and a huge community on Instagram. So here's the deal. If you promise to support a national club breeder, I promise to help you with any questions you have along the way. No strings attached. Just shoot me a message here on Instagram or on my website at markingourterritory.com. Lastly, a quick favor. The sole purpose of this video is to get in touch with people before they unknowingly support an unethical breeder. And the way to do that is to have it ranked higher in search. So no matter your level of experience with the breed, if you can like and comment on this video, it'll mean we get it in front of the people who need this information the most. Thanks so much for your help.